Hello everyone, welcome to day 22nd of my Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Anshu Tadeja. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present day 695 of Daily Lead Code Problem. The question that we have in is palindromic substring. It's a medium level question on Lead Code and I totally feel the same. Here in this question we are given an input string S. We need to identify the total number of palindromic substrings that exist in this string and we need to return its count. For all those who have been associated to the channel may know that we have already solved this question in the month of March 2021 that was last year. I just went through the video. I have clearly explained the brute force naive approach as well as the optimized approach to solve this question. This string is based out of string manipulation and I'm attaching its link in the description below. So do check this out. I promise you'll thoroughly enjoy this video. Also for all those who feel dynamic programming in general is a scary topic. To help you guys, I have created Coding Decoded Dynamic Programming SD Sheet. It contains 53 questions and I try to pick each at least one question of each concept that is asked in interviews with respect to dynamic programming, whether it's knapsack, whether it's a longest increasing subsequence, whether it's 2DDP, 3DDP, 1DDP, whether it's best time to buy and sell stock series. Uh, whether it's uh, decode ways. So you'll find each and every variation of dynamic programming questions that are asked in interviews. And in case you have an interview planned very soon and you don't know where to start the revision process, then this SD sheet is for you. I'm attaching its link in the description below. So do check this out. With this, let's wrap up today's session. Over to you guys. I hope you have a wonderful time watching this palindromic substring problem. Thank you.